Hi everybody, it's Thomas here from thomasfitzgeraldphotography.com and today I want to look at something quite simple. I'm going to take an image that is just okay and I'm going to see if I can make it into something much better. So I'll show you the image I have in mind. Um, I was walking through the park the other day and I was just taking some snapshots and there was one shot that I thought it looked quite nice but it's kind of dull and flat. So I took this picture with the little Sony RX100 here and it's not a bad shot, but it's nothing particularly great. So what I wanted to do is see if I can do something um, with it and make it into something a little better than that actually is. So here is the shot. I'm in Lightroom. Um, so let me just pop over into the develop module. OK, so the first thing I want to do is I'm going to see what I can do with the dev with it here in Lightroom and then we'll take it a bit further. So for start, I'm just going to bring down the highlights a bit because it's a bit too hot as it is. And I'm just going to do some general overall tweaking. Bring up the colors, bring up the shadows a little bit. Maybe bring down the blacks a tad. And one of the other things, uh, it's, well, it's set to the right color profile, so that's OK. Um, and maybe give it a bit of vibrance. So that's not bad. And I'm just going to bring up the saturation slightly as well. So. Already that's much better than it was. So if I look at there's the original and here's the new version of it. And um, it's not bad, but again, it's nothing particularly great. So let me just try and do some more to it here in Lightroom. Let's try the dehaze tool. And maybe I'll try just using a gradient over here to brighten up this section of it. So we'll bring up the shadows of it. And then maybe another gradient up here and kind of see if we can bring down the highlights a bit more, maybe up the contrast a bit more, and a bit more saturation. And again, it's not too bad, but it's it's still lacking something. Um, and I don't want to go too far with things here either. So let's try let's try using a plugin and see how far we get. Um, so in this case, I'm going to use Luminar, which is kind of my go-to plugin at the moment. Um, I'm not going to send the raw file though. I'm just going to send it as as is. So okay. So I'm in the Lightroom menu. I'm going to go export with preset, and I'm going to look down for Luminar 2018. Um, that's because I'm still using the beta. But if you're using the 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 original one, you'll just see use TIFF with Lightroom adjusters. But they've changed it slightly now, so it's going to be edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments. So I'm going to hit that. And this should fire open Luminar. Okay, so I've sent the TIFF over and. So let's gonna try a few things. So I don't want this develop thing, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Uh, I'm gonna add in add a few filters here. I'm gonna add tone. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is just turn up this boost AI, because that immediately makes things look better. Okay. And um I'm going to try a lot on this and I'm not going to try oh see I actually could try one of the Fuji ones but I don't think that's going to work that's actually not bad I kind of like that um we can fade this down a bit okay so already that's better so there was that's this is what we had in Lightroom and here's how it is in Luminar okay so let's add another layer I'm going to add a new adjustment layer. So what I'm going to do with this layer is I'm going to use this to create like a film effect on top of this. Um, I'm not going to go crazy with the film type effect. All I want to do really is just kind of soften it off a bit. So because it has kind of a digitally look as it is. So what I want to do is just I'm going to do some kind of softening things like glows and stuff and then add a bit of grain because that'll just make it more filmy. So I've started with the Orton effect and then I'm going to do a soft glow. And the important thing to note which is when using these kind of filters is keep everything low um, because otherwise it starts to look quite false. So another thing I can do is I'm going to add some curves here. And I'm just going to control the fall off a bit on the shadow and highlights. So something like this. Yeah. 
Now I want to be careful that I'm not adjusting the overall brightness too much. And I'm just going to flick this before the softening values. Okay, so again, if I look at before and after, so there's before and after. And remember that the before is what I sent from Lightroom, so it's not the original like, completely clean image. So that's actually pretty good as it is. I don't really need to do much more to it, but I'm going to try anyway. So I'm going to add this brilliance warmth filter, and I'm just going to turn up the vividness a bit. And that's too much. So let's undo that and just see if maybe we use the warmth. And that's kind of nice. And maybe knock it back a little bit. Okay. So let me just see. I'm going to add a little bit of grain here. And I'm going to turn that up. Value down. I'm just going to zoom in and check to see what it's like. That's not too bad. Um, so again, yeah, considering this was shot with such a small little camera, uh, it looks pretty good. Um, and I was only taking snapshots as well. I wasn't even, I put absolutely no effort into this. Um, but yeah, so let me just hit apply to send it back to the Lightroom. Okay, so here it is back in Lightroom. And uh, if I just go, this is the version we sent beforehand. So I am just going to, so now you can see that was the original image and that's where we ended up. So that's how you take something that's kind of dull and boring and make something interesting out of it um, using Lightroom and Luminar. Um, now the version of Luminar I'm using is uh, 2018, um, which will be out shortly. Um, but if you're using the older version 2017, most of those features are still within that. Um, but otherwise, uh, you can still use 2017 for that. Okay, so that was just a quick tip video and I uh, hope you've enjoyed it and we'll see you again next time. Okay, thanks for watching.